Hi to all! In past videos we discussed Project Hive, the ambassador program and gameplay. And today I will try to talk in detail about tokenomics of the project. So let's start. Tokenomics is one of the most important indicators of project success. It depends on how, whether the token will hold and grow. So go to the white paper, Project Hive, click on this button and go to white paper and go to tokenomics. Uh, we have two tokens, HGT, uh, Hive Governance token and IGT, uh, Immersion Generation token. HGT is limited management token, it will be used in game tasks and you will learn uh, earn it in games against other players. In most uses of the HGT token such as staking, buying goods, voting and more, it will be burned which will positively affect the price, HGT will be listed on stock exchange. IGT is uh, an in-game token, it has an unlimited supply, it is paid for almost every action in the game, it will be spent on straight change your characters. So go to HGT tokens and uh, talk about this in detail. Players can earn HGT for a limited number of the hardest tasks in the game. The system is built on the basic principle that tokens will not be minted after IDO, so in-game rewards come from other players and not from unlocked funds. The main goal of uh, our team was to create an ecosystem that is beneficial for everyone who is interested in our project. So we came up with one mechanic to benefit both HGT owners and artists. The HGT is primary governance tokens of the Hive marketplace. Token holders have the right to vote on new skins and items added to the marketplace by the artist community. From now on, skins and items one can be exchanged on the marketplace. The artist creator receive a percent reality for each community selected item sold on the marketplace while the project exists. The HGT token is built into the game mechanics, that is, uh, those who have HGT. Uh, tokens are DAO participants and have a certain influence on game mechanics. The winning guild receives soul for domination at certain territory among other benefits. Project Hive's primary source of soul is a small commission on all items sold on the marketplace. A portion of this commission goes to external betting pools provided by various industry leaders. All income from the staking is uh, redistributed among territory owners every two weeks by default. With the DAO, the community can wait once every two weeks for a certain bad pool. Part of the commission from purchases and sales on the marketplace will be used to reward users who stake tokens. Those who own HGT tokens can bet in different pools, rewards will uh, vary and may be paid using HGT or IDT in the specified manner. The team will provide additional betting opportunities to the community prior to the launch of the game. The condition of these additional pools uh, will uh, won't be better than the original ones. Project Hive plans to introduce more DAO mechanics to the project so that the project can be managed by the community. This will lead to greater decentralization and token holders will have a much greater advantage over others. It uh, won't be possible to do it right away, but the team is doing everything possible to speed up this pro process. So go to IGT tokens. IGT is the primary gaming token of the Project Hive ecosystem. It can be uh, freely transferred between networks. The supply of tokens is unlimited, uh, but we have taken care of an economic model that balances supply and demand based on player activity. The system is built in such a way that when you play the game you don't feel that it is built on the blockchain. The mechanics are made so that you understand all the process even if you are not a crypto enthusiast but a simple player. So friends, we have analyzed the tokenomics process with you, you learned that there are two tokens, these are IGT and IGT. We discussed them in detail above, so friends, until the next meetings. If you have any questions about this video, write in the comments. Bye!